Gladys. And um, Lydia and I, a friend of mine called Lydia and I, we normally have health sessions looking at various challenges that people have in terms of health, or even better still, how we can better our health moving forward and mm -hmm. that of our family. Yeah, it's really, that and is so, sorry. And so we normally, we have looked at quite a number of challenges before heart health. We've looked at joint, we've looked at energy and the foundation of nutrition and many others that we've looked at. And today we are going to be looking at um, sugar levels and diabetes to understand where does it begin and um, why sugar levels uh, become high in our, in our bodies and if they are already there. As much as we are going through medication with the doctors, what we need to do ourselves as individuals so that we can be able to control the sugars. Because even if you're taking doctor's medication, but your sugars keep going up and down, whenever they are up, they will always hurt something in the body. And so we, we feel it is very important for people to understand that it's their responsibility and not the doctor's responsibility to keep their sugars at the normal levels as required. And also for the rest of us who may not know, there are many people who are in pre-diabetes stage and they don't know. Millions and millions of people are in the pre-diabetic stage and they do not know. So even as we start, it is important to know that diabetes ranks very high in one of the diseases that are actually causing a lot of damage and even death. Of course, heart health in the chronic diseases takes the first place, heart health, followed by diabetes and cancer and others. And so when we are looking at diabetes, basically, we need to understand what are we talking about. So welcome everybody on the call. And I hope that even if we have somebody who may not have joined in today, and we feel that they need this information, we can always do it behind the scenes, again, specifically for them, so that they may be able to understand. So this is not something that we do exclusively, like a meeting like now, and you see we cannot do it again. We can always do a one-on-one, -on -one and so that people can understand. Or even for families that, especially the ones that are very prone, to this kind of challenge. So uh, we always say that health is your greatest wealth. Of course, on this earth while we are here, um, there are many things that we need to look at. Our spiritual aspect, our finances, our social networks, um, and health comes in there. Health entails how we feel and how physically fit we are. So health is very, very critical. And it is everybody's prerogative to take care of their health. So I will be quite fast because we want to finish and move on to some other meetings that we have. And I just say that um, health is your greatest wealth. And when we talk about health, we talk about quite a number of critical things. Of course, I'll be mentioning this as major, but there are others that are also very key. And they are very critical, like water, we need to be sufficiently um, hydrated throughout the day. And when you talk about water, we are not talking about tea, we are not talking about sodas, we are not talking about those herbal blends that we do. We are talking about real water. And water is very, very critical. And the most uh, good, the best water is the filtered water. Um, but many times we do distilled and many others. But that's a story for another day. So water is very important where everybody needs a minimum of two, K, two liters. For men, they need much more than that because they sweat a little bit more and they are bigger than in, in structure, most of them. So men need a lot of water. Something else we need, of course, is a sexual backup. 
so that our stress levels or we don't get into challenges that can bring stress. And you know, stress is one of the reasons that people get chronic diseases. Then of course, we need to think about sunshine. I'll not go into that for now. And then we need to make sure that we are having enough rest. I see people work so hard in the name of I'm looking for money or whatever it is that you're doing in the evenings when you're supposed to be asleep. We need quality uh, uh, six to eight hours of sleep. There are people who barely do even five every single day for whatever reason. So if you have insomnia and you cannot sleep, you need to work on that because you can't give it as an excuse. So if you have a challenges of resting, you need to work on that very, very fast. Then of course, we need to think about exercise. The minute we leave high school, many of us do not continue exercising. We don't live an active life. We ignore it and we think it is not important. It's a very important element of our health. So whatever it is you can do, even if it means walking 30 minutes, as in specifically as a form of exercise, not saying I walk up and down, specifically as a form of exercise where your heartbeat will come up, where you'll sweat a little bit, uh, which is very, very important for many reasons. One, exercise will keep your, um, your weight down because when you have weight, there's a very big likelihood that diabetes will come in into the body. You also need to take care of your heart because diabetes also affects the heart um, functions. And uh, you also want to burn that extra fat that could, could be having other challenges because a lot of fat in the body inhibits how insulin is, is taken in in the body. So those are elements that we need. Actually, a lot of fat inhibits the functions of insulin in the body. Then, of course, we need to think about diet. When we talk about diet, we are not just saying about the food we eat. We are talking nutrition. Are you serious that whatever you eat in itself is nutritious enough? So we need to think about having a diet that will keep us away from degenerative diseases. And if in any case we have it or somebody in our family has it, we need to work on our diet to repair the damage that is already done or to prevent, because we also have our children we need to take care about. So when we talk about health, we are talking about our health status. Many times between zero years to about 20 years, people are very vibrant. They live in a very vibrant state. But idea, and then thereafter, they start losing that vibrancy they get into the tired zone and the zig zone. But ideally we are supposed to be vibrant all the way into our 80s, all the way into our 90s. That is the way, the intention of God. It's supposed to be like that. But let us see the factors that make us lose that vibrancy and we get into the tired and the sick zone. Or if we are already okay, well, we shouldn't get there. Uh, many times uh, between zero to 20 years, we are under the cover of our parents, where you find that your parents don't, do not negotiate. When it comes to mealtime, it is mealtime. When it comes to sleeping, it is sleeping. When it comes to playing around, children play, they are active. But something happens around the age of 18 now, and moving forward, people start changing their diet because now they are grown ups, they've gone to college, or they are working. They are on their own and, and sometimes they break the rules. They break the rules. People skip meals. People are eating uh, an, an, uh, food that is not good. So you find, and then of course there is stress because at that, that time in life, you have many things to cater for. Some people have a lot of stresses because of taking care of their families or they have stressful jobs or have, they have stressful relationships. And so at this level, you find that many people's stress may go up. So please be sure, if you have stress, you really need to work on it. If you, if you find, or if you come across stress, you have to find a way of working on it. We've talked about sleep. The older somebody becomes, the more activities they have to do, and the more activities they have to do, they are lacking sleep. And this is happening with our children, because they sleep very late reading novels, videos, 
watching movies and all those kind of things on social media. So this could even affect our children earlier. And we've seen even exercise. If we do, um, I think about 75% of adults do not do proper exercise. They ignore that. It's important we go back, whether it's keeping the rope or walking or gymming. You have, but though you have to be careful so that you control that also. And of course, weight. At this point is where weight comes in because we are eating a lot of refined sugar, a lot of um, fast foods because of where we work or we just don't care much. And then of course we are not exercised, so weight comes in. And if we are not careful, we get to, to what we call the sick zone. This is a zone where you have cholesterol, you have stroke, heart attack, arthritis, the sugars go up. There are many challenges, hormonal imbalances. The list is so high in today's life. And also I've realized digestive challenges have become too much in the world today. And the worst bit is we have very few specialists in gastrointestinal matters. So people are really suffering with intestinal issues that later on uh, become other things. They could lead to cancer and they could lead to other diseases. So that's another challenge that uh, we are seeing. So if we are not careful, our health status may as well go down like that. But we are saying, if your health status has gone down a little bit or even has gone down or somebody you know, you can actually bring this up. Because the way God designed the body, if you do the right things with it, it will start repairing itself. And a cell at a time. And with time, that repair will be able to help you have a healthier life. So you find there are some people who are even in stage four cancer. And once they realize that they have to do something about it, away from even just going to the doctor, they take charge of their health. You find they become vibrant and they can live many other years which they had not even been told they could live by the doctor. So this is a very critical part of it, and this is what we do. Teaching people how to get back to where you are supposed to be, and to make sure our children don't fall like that. It's our responsibility. And so when we talk about um, the dietary facts, the facts are, according to the scientists, 95% of the population, they are eating foods that lack nutrients. Are we in that 95%? Let us see in a short while. 75% are deliberately consuming incorrect food. People are eating a lot of refined starch. That is one of the biggest challenges we have in the world, refined starch. On top of that, we have a lot of juices, a lot of sugar in everything that we take, not to mention, of course, things like preservatives and all the other things that challenge our bodies, but, there's a lot of, and even too much sugar, I mean, too much salt. All those levels of, uh, of indulging in the incorrect foods, they affect us in our health. Now, let's talk a little bit about diabetes. The worst bit, um, the, 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 the statistics about diabetes are scary. They are so scary because the people who are in pre-diabetes, as in their sugars are a bit high, but they have not reached to a level where it needs to be scaring are very many. The percentages are huge. And the worst bit is that people are getting it as early as in their 20s. So diabetes is a chronic condition that occurs when your body loses ability to produce. Can you get up? Or we have the insulin, but it is not being utilized the right way. So those are the two factors that may affect somebody to become diabetic. So we need to understand at what point did the sugar levels go high? Is it because the insulin is not being properly produced? Or is it because the body is, has lost its ability to produce the insulin? Now there are two types of diabetes. There are actually three types, type one, that is for people who are, they are young, they, are, they grow in it, they are born with it. What happens with these people is that something happened while they were maybe in their mother's womb or immediately after birth, something happened that affected the insulin absorption in the body. Or the destruction of the insulin producing organ happened 
And so the insulin is just not there. And those ones must depend on insulin for the rest of their life. But the beauty is, even as they do that, they still can use diet so that they don't have to use too much of it and so that it doesn't have to keep skyrocketing going up and down. So th that is the type one. And many times it's, it's children who get it. Um, and then some adults grow with it. The other one is just, just it's called gestational diabetes, where you find you get diabetes when you're pregnant. It just comes. It may disappear after or continue, but that comes for pregnant mothers. And that needs to be checked by the doctor while they are in that state. Now, the other one and the most common is type 2. Type 2 is the one that you never had those symptoms, but all of a sudden, you have it. And of course, we have the symptoms that come with it. So there are some risk factors that come with diabetes. It's important to know that when your sugar levels, when they are, they are um, you go for um, a checkup and your sugar levels are below three, that is very, very dangerous. Because easily when your sugars are low, you can get seizures and you get nervous system. Your, your actually nervous system gets damaged. So it is very important to make sure you don't go on a low. The other one is uh, be between three and 5.6. That is good, not too bad. And especially 5.6 if you are measured what we call the fasting. When you're early in the morning when you are checked after you wake up. If you are 5.6, you're good. But anything that goes between 5.6 to 6.9, that is the prediabetes. Things are not right. And that sugar is somehow damaging your body and you are not aware of it. When it gets to over eight, the doctor starts getting really worried about it. And some people go all the way to the 20s, some even 30s in the index. So it is very important to make sure that we know regularly where are we at? Are we pre-diabetic or are we normal? So that is very critical. So very fast, um, genetics could be a cause of diabetes. Maybe in the family, people become diabetic. If you know that in the family, people become diabetic, you have to start taking care early now, both for you and your children. They need to understand that these challenges are there and they need to be taken care of. The other one is poor diet. Poor diet is a big one. It is so big you can't imagine. And we are going to see what poor diet means, what really it means. And then the other one is, of course, overweight. We said overweight and obesity. Because of the fatty deposits in the body, they inhibit the, the perfect use or utilization of the insulin. They even affect the, 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 the pancreas, the way the pancreas is supposed to function. And then the other one is inactivity. And those are things we've talked about. We must exercise. We must keep our weight down. We must sleep well and then we must eat proper diet. Now, uh, moving forward, we need to know that um, there are some symptoms that we have so that people can know whether am I becoming diabetic or somebody around you. What are these symptoms? Increased hunger, always have been hungry, especially thirsty. There are people who are always getting thirsty. If you have that challenge of becoming very thirsty, or even your child or somebody around you, that is something that needs to be checked immediately. Don't assume it. Please make sure the sugar levels are checked. Then some people, they go through weight loss very fast. So if you do a weight loss that is very fast, you need to worry about that. Another one is frequent urination. Always going to the toilet for the short call. It's so frequent. And so that can be also a very challenge, a challenge Another one is blurry vision. Can you imagine yesterday, somebody I normally use to run around um, some errands with a motorbike. You were supposed to run a errand for somebody, a friend of ours. And when I call him, he tells me I'm in the hospital at four. What are you doing in the hospital? He tells me, Gladys, imagine I'm, I've become diabetic and I can't see. Then I'm like, oh goodness. Now you can't see and that's your livelihood because he is a rider, he moves from place to place. And he told me, imagine he can't see, 
And he told me, if you send me a text, I will not see the text. I can only see if somebody calls me. And, and that is really scary. You can imagine how scary it can be. So vision is an issue. The minute you start having vision issues, that's something that needs to be checked. Extreme fatigue, it's called lethargy, where you have no energy at all. Your body is just feeling broken. It is just feeling so down. So that is something very, very important that needs to be checked. And then heal, if you have woods that don't heal, the minute you get a wood or even a pimple and it becomes a wood and it is not healing, that is not a good sign. Because many people who have a lot of sugars and diabetes, the healing process is inhibited because a lot, the zinc levels are so low. In fact, the zinc levels when they are so low is one of the reasons that someone could actually be pre-diabetic. For men, libido goes down and that goes even for women. It challenges their libido and that can be a very devastating part of it. And that also is affected because of the circulation. When someone is diabetic, it affects the circulation up to the farthest corners of every part of our body, whether it is the legs, the fingers, or the other parts, especially the sexual areas, which need a lot of oxygen and a lot of blood and a lot of food that comes with that uh, circulation. So that could be a problem. And of course, other, I, I think that is very interesting. Women get a lot of yeasts and infections when they're diabetic. I guess it's because uh, they are vulnerable. Their body is vulnerable, their immunity is down. So the minute those yeasts and infections come in, they become a challenge to get uh, taken care of by the fighting cells. And that even tells us now the reason why COVID, we have been told if you're diabetic, you have a, a, lie, a, a, a condition that has been there. That could be, it could accelerate the effects of COVID in the body. And so if somebody is diabetic also, we need to look at it very seriously, that their immunity is super high. So that just in case of anything, they will go over it just like anybody else. Um, so those could be the, the signs, could, those could be the symptoms. And of course, we've also looked at um, the, 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 the complications that come with it. Other complications is nerve. Nerve issues, your nerves become a challenge. They are challenged. So that needs to be taken care of. We've talked about vision. We've talked about foot damage, something called gang gangrene. I hope I'm using the right one. Where um, the, the circulation right at the, 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 the toes and the big foot is inhibited. And because of that, that place loses blood and it starts uh, rotting. And the minute that happens, uh, the doctor has nothing else to do but cut off that place before it affects the other parts of the body. So that circulation element is very, very critical for somebody who could be pre-diabetic or diabetic. And we've said that the woods don't heal. Some people go into depression, some people go into dementia, and some people lose their limbs. I have a cousin of mine who was uh, type 1 diabetic. She, she was laid to rest a year ago and she, her body just broke. She would break a, a shoulder here, a leg here, a foot here. She had lost her sight. So because of the sight losing, she would fall any time. And eventually she dislocated her hips, both of them. And it was very devastating. So in the process of hip replacement, because you know the complications of healing and you're going through dialysis, all those complications, she just rested. So those complications are very, very critical. And that's why even as natural uh, people who are normal, don't take these things for granted. We need to keep getting checkups. Many Kenyans don't get checkups. Now, for us to say we are eating well, I want to be very fast on this. We need to make sure that you're eating. Um, this, this is the, 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 the guide. We've talked about physical activity and weight management. So it is important to know that physical activity, there's no negotiation about it, and there's no supplement for that. You have to do it yourself. And it has to be a total lifestyle change. What about weight? If somebody has weight, you have to work on it. 
And it should not be a quick fix. It should be a total lifestyle change so that you give yourself six months to a year to shed off quite a number of kilos. It should not be wanting to be done within a month, very fast, two months. That could also bring complications in your body. So weight loss should be strategic and you must give yourself enough time. The other thing is we need to eat foods that have whole grains. Why foods that have whole grains? Because whole grains have three parts in them. There's the jam part of it. The jam has some oils that are called lipids and steroids. Those are the oils that take care of all the body cells in the body. They need that oil on a daily basis. And that is why ideally we are supposed to do three main meals of whole meal. We are talking about um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure we have some variety of whole meal. That oil will take care of your cell membrane, give you energy, make sure that your hormones are not interfered with. Remember insulin is a hormone that comes from the pancreas. And make sure that all your tissues are at their best and in turn, the organs are at their best. So we begin there. Then there's the, 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 the area that has a lot of starch. That starch is needed for energy. But when you remove the jam and the fiber, then you have too much starch in your body. And that starch becomes sugar. And then too much sugar in the body is dangerous. Because when you have too much sugar in the body, the body ideally is supposed to go into a coma. But because the body cannot allow you to go into a coma, it finds its ways to work on the sugar. And it turns that sugar into fat. And so every time you have too much intake of the refined food, all that is turned into fat. It is turned into fat. So you have a lot of fatty deposits in the body and they interfere with the pancreas, the functions of the pancreas. They also interfere with how the insulin is taken into your cell because your cells are having the wrong fats around them. The organs are having the wrong fats around them and that becomes a challenge. Uh, the other thing is um, the fiber part of it. The fiber part of it is uh, where Mm, you, you, the fiber is able to actually stabilize the sugars. And that is why a whole grain has the fiber, the starch, and the jam part. Now, the fiber part of it makes sure that sugar does not go into the bloodstream very fast. It stabilizes it. So it is very important to make sure that you have also the fiber part so that your sugar levels are stabilized throughout the day. Uh, and that goes even for the fruits and the vegetables. We need a lot of fruits and the vegetables, a lot of fruits and vegetables. Uh, why do we need a lot of fruits and vegetables? The immunity aspect of it, um, taking care of the fiber part of it. You know, fruits and vegetables will give you a lot of fiber. It could be either the soluble fiber or the insoluble fiber. That fiber, uh, what it does, it makes sure that the, the insoluble fiber will stay. The insoluble fiber will stay in your intestines for cleaning up and waiting for the things that need to come from wherever so that they are cleaned out. Now, the, the soluble fiber will be able to go to the bloodstream, pick out all the fatty deposits, pick out all the sugars that are necessary, and eventually that will be pushed out. And the insoluble fiber will push it out through the long call that we do. So fats and sugars are very important. But of course, when somebody is diabetic, there are some fruits you need to stay away from for the time being until you regularize your sugars. So you need to check the sugar, the fruits that have a lot of, um, they have a lot of sugars. I think you, most, most people need to know which fruits have a lot of sugars. You need to know that. Then, of course, proteins should be minimal. Once you grow up, you should not take a lot of animal protein. Animal protein gives the body the bad fat. Let me give an example. When you're slaughtering a chicken, no matter how small it is, because fat is in two things, it could be the fat that you can't see, and it could be the fat that you can see. Uh, that you can see in the body, you know, the layers. You, someone, some people are big enough, you can see they have fat. But there are people who have fat inside, in, in their, inter, in their, in their, around the organs or around the systems, or even the circulatory system. 
Now, this one is very critical because the animal proteins, they give that. And the worst bit about animal proteins also, they make the body acidic. An acidic environment is an environment that will encourage disease. So that, and that is why you find if somebody is diabetic, they could be having other existing conditions because of that aspect of, there's a lot of fat in the circulatory system, in the, um, in the blood itself, and in the arteries, and in the veins, and all those places. So that is very, very important. Um, then we need more of the plant proteins. Why plant, plant proteins? Because they also have a lot of um, the fiber part of it, not to mention the other vitamins and minerals that are needed. Now, the other thing is fats and sugars. They should be minimized to the very best. If you can avoid them, the better. Because the whole grains, the fruits and vegetables and proteins, they have their natural fat. So if we can avoid that, the better. Now, we've inverted this pyramid upside down, like that. And you find that people are eating a lot of fats and sugars. When we talk about fats and sugars, all the refined foods fall here. All the drinks that we take that, even if you take orange juice or you take a smoothie or whatever it is you take, but in it the sugar put in, that in itself is not good. So if you are saying I'll do natural uh, juices, let them be natural, don't add sugar. Many times we go to the hotels, when you ask for, for juices, they have sugar added in it. If you are taking things like soda, soda has become one of the reasons why people are diabetic. You find, because we said you can be pre-diabetic, you feel thirsty, you have no energy. So soda becomes the best resource where it gives you a lot of energy very fast and it gives you that uh, kick, you know? And the thirst, the quenching of the thirst, it's a lie. It's a total lie. So the sugars, the fats, the sodas, and the cooking oils, too much cooking, too much boiling, too much frying, too much deep frying, in the houses, too much baking, too much cookies, too much. Hey, if I put the wrist, it will be endless. A lot of uh, KDFs are being eaten in Kenya. A lot of uh, cakes and cookies are being eaten in Kenya. It's crazy. Not to mention, of course, the animal proteins. We are talking about uh, the families of sausages, that family of those meats, the meat itself. We are talking about too much milk. Milk should be regularized, I can tell you for sure, once you become a grown-up. And then, of course, too much eggs. And milk is also not very good for the children as much as we think. If it's overdone, it could create some cancers and some challenges in the body. Uh, we've inverted that pyramid upside down. We are not exercising. Whole grains are a thing of the past. And we have all sorts of reasons. Now, are there solutions? Yes, there are solutions. And that's why you need to make a personal decision to have those solutions done. So one of the solutions we give us guys is we've partnered with a company called Neolife to keep teaching people about this wellness pyramid. Because before you even tell somebody, there is a solution in terms of probably a supplement now that there's so much damage in the body, we also want you to know that you must eat well and you must change your eating habits and you must have a total lifestyle change. And we also try to eat as well as possible because you cannot eat badly and say, I'm gonna supplement. Why are we introducing supplementation? It's because many years ago, a research was done in the US between 1958 and 19, 1958 and 46 and 1958. And they realized this gap is causing a lot of havoc. And they realized because of civilization, there are things we will never get back in our diet. One of those things is that because we live in town, we continue eating find food, which is very dangerous. And we are giving, giving that to our children. Can you imagine? We keep giving our children foods that have that refined, a lot of deep fried foods. So that challenge, we find that people are lacking the oils, the good oils I talked about from the whole grains. So that could be a challenge. Another challenge is where you're not able to get enough fruits and vegetables. Maybe only access to uh, sukuma, cabbage, spinach, and that becomes the source of your vegetables. 
you need to know out there there's a whole range of vegetables. I've already done that. There's a whole range of vegetables that your body requires. And um, so you need to have a, a variety. And that variety can come in supplementation. In the US, people eat very badly but they do supplement a lot. Or let me say in the Western world, supplementation is totally understood and people have their supplements at the table to put in where that gap is. And that gap is the one that is bringing all the diseases we are talking about. Then the other thing is our farming has become so challenged that sometimes we cannot say our soils have the very best that we need. An example in Kenya, most farmers who farm for us maize say in the rift or wherever, they use fertilizers year in, year out. They will not do crop rotation like we used to before. They will not do manure because it is not possible. It's totally not possible when it comes to, it is possible, but it is very expensive. And so people look at the money part of it. It is possible, but it is not being done. Again, uh, you find that, um, we are, we are the, the transportation of our fruits and our vegetables. A lot of nutrition is lost in between there because some come from abroad, some come from different counties, and that affects the value of the nutrition. And some again, if it's like our proteins, you find they also have challenges of things like they have to be put antibiotics, the chicken have to be put hormones. So we are not getting the real thing from the chicken. We are not getting the real thing from the fattened cows, you know? So those challenges and those deficiencies are there. So it's the time to turn this pyramid upside down. And when I understood this, I decided I would rather go in and be part of this because we cannot just have the deficiencies. So the US, uh, the World Health Organization said by 2020, chronic disease is going to amount out of every four deaths three people are dying of these challenges. And they are really hurting people. Governments are losing the battle. And you find like in Kenya, most of the money has been going to India, South Africa, Europe, America, as people seek treatments. Not to mention the many who cannot even afford, and they actually live a very difficult life because of these challenges. And remember we said, you can start reactivating your body to cure itself. So um, I'll be talking about the Neolife uh, uh, supplements. Maybe you may be knowing others, but I'll talk about Neolife because after all the research I did, I actually fell in it because it was started in 1958 by one of the scientists who was commissioned by the US government to do that research I talk about. Between 1946, 1958, the founder was one of those scientists and he actually realized we need to come up with something. So since 1958, this company has been in the forefront all over the world. And the mission statement is to make the world a healthier and happier place. So their key business is in health and wellness. And they make sure that from the farm to the table, they are giving you things that are organically done, no chemicals, and using those farming, um, the farming techniques that were used by our grand, our forefathers. Those things are very, key to understand. If you want to know more, we can give you a video called From the Farm to the Table so that you can be sure about that. You also want uh, supplements that are whole, whole, made from whole, whole foods as God intended in the food chain, whether it's carrots, whether it is spinach, whether it is apricots, those ones. The scientific advisory board is there. You can go and Google search about them. And you can also get into what we call our New Life University. The New Alive University, these scientists teach people these uh, particular topics we are talking about. And as the months go by, as the years go by, they upload much more. So you can also go to New Alive University, just Google search that, go through some of those um, certificates. You'll even get certificates. You'll go through the classes, you learn a lot, you do some tests, and you'll be more vast to understand how to take care of these challenges. So now, why should we supplement very fast? We said our cells need oils. These oils come from lipids and steroids that, that comes from wheat, rice, and soya. Amazing in, in the case of Africa. But in this case, these ones are made from wheat, rice, and soya. It comes to repair the damage done to the cells already. 
Because if somebody has a challenge, it means the cells are challenged. It begins there at the cell. So you find that the tree and then is coming to repair your body and a cell at a time, you start feeling better. Within a week, you start feeling better. And that is a guarantee. I have used 3NN for the last 18 years. I've been on it. And I can tell you, I used to work in the bank. I was very fatigued. And I was only uh, in my, early to, my late 20s and my early 30s. I made this opportunity in, in, when I was 30 years old. That's 18 years ago. So you can imagine it's a product that can keep you going and going and going. And within seven years, if you take care of your health, the body replaces all the body cells and you have a newer body, apart from the brain cells, of course. So the brain cells you have, make sure you take care of them so that you don't lose them, because those ones are never replaced. Uh, then the other thing is the um, vegetables, very critical. One of the reasons someone who is diabetic should think about carotenoid complex is because of the eyes. Once the sugar uh, uh, damages the, the, the capillaries in the eyes and the behind side of the eyes, you have a big challenge of eyesight and vision, and you get cataract if you are older. So you find that carotenoid complex, in one bottle there are 115 kgs of raw fruits and vegetables. So you're actually giving your body a kick of what it has not been giving, given. The cells are already been repaired by TNN. The carotenoid comes and boosts your immunity, and then it gives the body that kick and the repair that is needed in the bloodstream the repair that is needed in your eyes, and so that you don't have other patho pathogens coming to affect you. Like now we have COVID really affecting people. If your immunity is high, you don't get there because you can fight off that very fast. It boosts your killer cells by 41%. I wish you can read much more about it. We can give you videos on the same. Whoever invited you, they can tell you the person who can, you can lie us with, so that you can learn much more for yourself. Not to be say, they, they told me, they said, no, 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 no. We also want you to get the information yourself. The other thing is um, the, just a minute. The other thing you need to think about very, very critical in this case is fish oil. Remember we said one of the challenges of, um, uh, a diabetic person, it affects the brain. You become slower in terms of thinking. Your aptitude is a bit interfered with. Fish oil is very good for the brain. It's also good for the heart because the heart and the diabetes go hand in hand. It will take care of your cholesterol. It will take care of the bad oils in the system. But above all, omega-3 oils, when you use them with the zinc, they will help repair the damage in in the pancreas and they will start allowing the pancreas to produce insulin better if it was not and if it was not being absorbed better you find that the absorb uh, the utilization of your real insulin the normal insulin for in your body is better and what will happen is that the doctor eventually will realize that and with time he'll come reducing the artificial insulin because now your body is able to trigger that so we are not saying you stop medication. If somebody has diabetes or a heart condition, they should not stop their medication. They should take this comfortably. It will not interfere with your medication, but you find that it will help you a great deal. Then of course we have the vitamins and minerals. You need a whole range of vitamins and minerals. People who are diabetic, they get lethargy. They need energy from the natural ions. They need calcium in their body because their body bones need to be strong in case of a fall, that they don't break their bones. Because if they break, healing becomes more difficult. So you find your calcium levels are there, your magnesium levels are there, and all the other vitamin, uh, minerals like potassium that are very needed for someone who is diabetic. So th that one will give you a blend of the 23. And in that, you actually get a pack called Provitality. So we start people off with a product called Provitality. You take care of your cells, you take care of your organs and the circulatory system, you take care of the functioning of the insulin together with the zinc and the other products you use, and then of course you have a blend of the vitamins. In addition to the, pro, in addition to the provitality, um, 
We talked about the signs and the, uh, the others. These are the other things you may add. Um, fiber tablets, we said, fiber is good for helping sugar being fished from your circulatory system, and then it is flushed out. So the insoluble fiber will go into your bloodstream, pick out all the excess sugars that are there, come out with it, and it will be flushed out of the system. So fiber is a very good product. Again, if somebody has a bit of weight, it will help in weight reduction. It has no nutritional value, but it has a lot of functions for the digestive system and the sugar maintenance. The other thing is um, the good protein. You know when you are, someone is diabetic, they are told to take proteins more than the starch. So their body goes on keto. Instead of taking a lot of starch that is refined, your protein uh, becomes your source of energy. And the source of energy that comes from protein now will be much better than the one that is coming from the refined sugars, the refined foods. So that's what the Neolife Shake will do for you. And it will repair all the damage that has been done in your organs. So if there has been damage in the kidney, before it becomes too late, that damage is there. The eyes, the damage, because we know proteins are bodybuilding, they repair the damage. So that's the reason why the protein shake is very, very important. Then we have something called CoQ10. Why CoQ10? Please go and Google search what CoQ10 is. Coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is good because it will give you energy like nothing else. Someone who is diabetic, they lack energy. They are very lethargic. So what will happen is that the CoQ10 goes to what we call the mitochondria at the cell level. That is where energy is produced. You can read much more about CoQ10. Again, most people who have a heart disease or diabetes, they're in a lot of medication. And some of, that, some of that medication has statin. And statin gives some, it, it will damage your body over time. So CoQ10 will come and work on that. That damage that is, that, that is done by statin and some other medications. So the people who have like the challenges of libido, CoQ10 will help you a great deal. It will help even in the heart area. And of course, the, the, that energy level we are talking about. We talked about salmon and zinc. I don't know why we did not put zinc here. Zinc or even much mineral and alfalfa has zinc. Those two, they help the body to start getting back to the, 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 the normal, the natural pancreas insulin working in your body. Finally, we have uh, botanical. The most amazing thing is that our botanical is made from cinnamon, turmeric, curcumin. Can you imagine? Those are things that Waindis love a lot. The African has totally ignored those herbs. But people are catching up with it. These ones are very good for removing inflammation, for heart health, for diabetes, actually, and reducing the sugar level. And those are the ingredients. So we are saying a supplement will help repair you faster, will help rebuild the damage faster, and with time, together with good diet, now the doctor can be able to tell you, you know what, you're doing better, I'll reduce your medication, or now you can manage using diet. So I'll leave it at that. Also the weight loss, if you have weight, it has to go down. Everybody here needs to understand the BMI, body mass index. And you must always be within the index of 20 to 24.9 or 19 to 24.9. If you are below, dangerous. If you are above 24.5, you need to work on it. Remember, we said you do it gradually. So this is a, pro a, a program that helps you do it gradually. It should never be fast. I'll leave it at that. And then I will invite Lydia. Lydia, please unmute yourself so that you can close the session for us. Kindly, if there are any questions, you can direct them to the person who invited you. And after this, we can be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Thank you very much. God bless you. And have a great um, weekend. But before I go, tomorrow, th this month is dedicated to women, August. And as women in the Neolife family, we want to put a difference 
and tell people we are in a family we can encompass you are you lonely somewhere you don't have a, a community of business builders where who can support you are you lonely in the aspect of health uh, would you like to to be more explosive uh, explore, uh, exploratory as a person do you want to travel one day in your life and experience excitement uh, all those things we have a special panel of people from south africa uganda we have our own dr fatma abdallah who is an oncologist and hematologist from uh, at kenyatta university and has been part of neolife since 1996 she will be there speaking to us so you better come and hear from an expert so if you're on the call and you don't have the link probably you're invited by somebody who may not have the link just be in touch with us uh you can even put your, you can talk to the person who invited you they'll definitely get a way to get you the link so thank you very much god bless you and uh lydia over to you kindly um Hi everyone, my name is Lydia Warohu Monene, and I'm very much honored to be here with you today. Thank you Gladys for such an awesome presentation. I always learn from you. Uh, you have mentored me in areas of my health and um, also what I need to do. And uh, you are awesome today, thank you very much. <clears throat> for those of us who are there on Tuesday, it's as if uh, we are learning new things uh, today. So thank you very much and may God bless you. I'm married, I have four wonderful children and I came across uh, New Life when I was working at FedEx and I didn't uh, think I have health challenges then because my friend uh, told me that there's an opportunity that we can do and make a lot of money. I was expecting my second born, but I did not connect about nutrition and the condition I was going through. And I was having challenges in high blood pressure, we call it preeclampsia. And when she told me about uh, the way we can make money, I attended a meeting like this one in the office and she mentioned health. It triggered me to try and see whether I can be able to improve uh, that condition because my firstborn, it was severe. I had to go on early maternity leave, I had to go through a cesarean section. I was swollen all over. So I came in and I took pro vitality and um, <clears throat> I added things like vitamin E. The high blood pressure went down. I was so fatigued. High blood pressure makes somebody very tired and fatigued at the end of the day. And remember, I was expectant. So it really helped me take care of that hypertension. It came down. <clears throat> I got the baby normal delivery. The other one was an emergency, yes. And for me, it was a miracle. Um, the product has really helped me and my family. Uh, my, my boys had, uh, had allergies, especially the third born, even had allergy of milk, uh, cow milk. I had to stop and also was becoming asthmatic. My daughter was asthmatic at the age of um, eight months. I gave her the product. So we have been able to enjoy family health. And it gives me a lot of joy. Some of the issues that we experience as parents, as mothers, in terms of raising our children, I've been able to take care of them. For me, uh, in the house, sometimes they call me doctor uh, because I have to insert some of these things and I have to really um, make them take them. I never thought that I could take supplements uh, when I was beginning. I actually vomited when I took my first three and then because I used to have challenges of my gut. Um, I used to be the person who lit today and go for a long call after three, four days. And I had peptic ulcers, had acidity, tree, and then really sorted me out. I can speak about what the products have done for me and my family. I'm currently on a weight loss program because as uh, we uh, always learn that it is not good. And sometimes we find ourselves in that situation and I've been able to shed 10 kilos so far. I said when COVID is going, also my weight is going. So it's a good journey that I've been. I'm also learning myself. I always say that I have a good relationship with food. Now, I, when I came back from maternity leave, I thought about doing it as a business because I found my, my friend was making around 30,000 and I wanted to do a business that would be able to be done part-time. I had started other businesses 
which did not succeed because of lack of time. I didn't have skills. You know, I didn't have somebody to mentor me. So I said, if the products have worked for me, why don't I just share the product with my friends and family? And I started making some little money that could help me do some things. I just wanted some extra 10K so that by 15th, I don't go to the uh, account office and ask for an IOU. So that I, I, I don't ask for an IOU. So when I was able able to get some extra cash. I did the business purely part-time and I was able to even um, quit my job to take care of my family. I didn't uh, leave employment because it was bad. I was not being paid well, but I discovered that I was not earning enough money and uh, I was not getting, uh, uh, giving my family time. My husband mostly works away, so I saw that uh, we'll go out and look for money, but at the end of the day, they will not have a good relationship with my our children. So I was able to do that. I've also been able to travel um, and have fun. I've been to the UK, I've been to South Africa, which gives me a lot of joy to go on holiday. I've been to Winter Golf and Country Club. Now we are calling upon people, you come in, you can come in and use the product as a distributor and enjoy the discount. And when uh, the product works, I'm extra income. And what you're going to get from um, New life is that you're going to attain health and wellness, both physically and financially. You are going to achieve and maintain your ideal weight. You are going to earn that extra income every month and be able to build on your dreams. Maybe it's in a very small house. I've been able to graduate over time. Maybe it is to spend more time with your family and friends. Maybe it's to be your own boss. Maybe it is to work part-time more, get recognition for your year achievement. Experience personal growth. When I was starting, I could not talk to anyone alone. I used to sweat a lot because of fear. I've been able to get interpersonal skills. I've been able to get people's skills. And even uh, self-esteem, sometimes we suffer from self-esteem and we do not know how to life. We sell hope to people. So join us in that family and you are able to control health. So we are calling upon you to come and use the product, share the product with your family and friends, and we make this world a healthier and a happier place. Thank you very much uh, for being part of us this hour. We thank you for your time. We thank you for uh, even uh, using your resources to be part of us. So thank you very much. We don't take it for granted. Talk to the person who has invited you. If you'd like to get started and use the product, or even share the product. It's 8,321 Kenya shillings and you get Pro Vitality, and you get literatures, you get a website, you get a back office where you can order online and you get also an online shop and, any, and um, many more benefits. So thank you very much. God bless you and um, see you at the top. Bye. Back to you, Gladys. Gladys, can you hear me? Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. Um, thank you very much. Audible? Yeah, you can hear me now. I was trying to unmute uh, you myself. You are muted, I think, Gladys. It, I was muted, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we, were, uh, we were quite a good number. We always say God's quorum is where two or three are gathered. And we truly hope that we've impacted something that can trigger you to want to learn more that can trigger you to actually become a resource person to somebody else. If you feel we can do this presentation to somebody else, we will not tire. We can schedule and do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with, with whoever it is, or we can even avail to you part of the information that we have so that you can use it. So for me again, thank you very much. I hope you'll join our women's meeting tomorrow. From me and Lydia, this meeting we actually do it every Tuesday, every Tuesday, seven to eight. Uh, it's just that some people requested for a redo and we decided to create the time. So 
you can be joining us on Tuesday, whoever invited you. Maybe you even got a, an invite from somebody who was given the invite. Then they sent it to you. That's still great. Just try to get our contacts from the person who may have sent you the, the link and we'll be more than happy to work with you. God bless you. And let's keep the world a healthier and a happier place. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.